Here I go live real quick on this channel since I haven't done it in a while because I'm a bad YouTuber. Bad, 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 bad. What is up? Let's see if we can get anybody in here. Zero. Zilch. Not even notifications. So we'll just wait here a minute and hope for the best. Do, do, do. Yep, notifications aren't going out. Gotta love it. Let's see, so. There they are. Are we notifying yet? There, there's Sterling. What's up, Sterling? I've been enjoying the time lapse um, videos. I posted, um, well, I was going over, a, a friend of mine was telling me how much they liked the video you did with the apnea song and and uh so i sent that friend some time lapse videos because that's how i started that's how i started was doing the time lapse stuff i think my first time lapse video it was only doubled in speed i think and it was to a crowbar song the crowbar song i sent you sterling and it literally i had a peterbilt 387 at the time and there was the cb was on the dash and i actually had the camcorder yes camcorder the big bulky vhs mini bungee <clears throat> to the to the cb radio <laughs> it was uh it was a very crude system and then the second one was done with so in the truck stops you had these jazz cameras they're about the size of a cell phone they, they like predated the flip phone or the flip camera remember the flip cameras where I had the USB. I still have one of those. And the cool thing about this one is the screen came out so you can do selfies and see what you look like, you know. And I had, I'd switched to a Volvo, right? The company put me in a Volvo and, and there's a, you know, the arm thing on the left hand side. I, I, I zip tied it to that. So all my videos look like I'm over too far with that. And that one, the second one I did was um, to a, a, a band called The Gathering, which is this female singer. It's, it's, it's like my favorite song of theirs. And I was going through, I think it was Heading to Cleveland. Yeah, that's what it was called, Going to Cleveland. Very original title. And then the the one of my favorites that I did was Going Home for Thanksgiving. The song wasn't quite long enough, so I added a second song for the end of it, but that one's a little bit faster. So I was just, I was editing the members only video I did the other day, and of course Microsoft changed their stuff again, and I was like, oh, now I gotta learn another program. And my son's like, hey dad, I'll send you a Windows Movie Maker, <laughs> you know, uh, an EXE file for it. And I'm like, I don't know. Uh, it's good to learn new things, but, you know, whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a great YouTuber. Got my water. Um, you know, I've had that, this channel here, OG, I've had this channel for, well, 15 years now. 14, 15 years. I started this channel right around the same time I started uh, driving. I might have been driving a school bus at the time. I don't know. Because I started using YouTube when I started investigating, you know, being a driver or whatever. 
Um, and that seems to be the course, you know, if I want to learn about firearms, you know, I go to YouTube. If I want to learn about knives, I go to YouTube. If I want to learn how to, you know, fix something, you go to YouTube. Like, like my wife got me this big bench table for Christmas a couple of years ago and the instructions on it are horrible. Like they're the pictures, you know, and you can't quite figure it out. So I got on YouTube and sure enough, there's a guy that put one together and I was able to watch that and got a clearer picture of it. You know, so YouTube has this do it yourself aspect. I mean, look at DIY's channel. He's got like 60,000. He's got a lot of subscribers. He's pretty up there because he's a do it yourself, you know, show you how to do this, show you how to do that. I don't have any skills. I can't show you how to do anything. I'm not good with firearms. I'm not good with knives. I'm not good with YouTube. I'm not even good at working out. Am I getting better at working out? Yeah. I just got done with my my workout in the purple place, but but uh you know then I see, you know, I was looking at I saw that Wilbur had gone live and Wilbur's been going alive a lot. And I see that he's like got 10, 20,000 views on his live feeds that he's doing for like six hours. And, and I'm lucky to get 10 on this channel. <laughs> so, you know, and, and like uh, Shannon, I knew that her channel would grow. And it's, it's, she's almost at 2,000 subscribers. So, I don't know. I'm not good with the ones and zeros. I'm not good with the analytics. So, Sterling says, Friday night, thousand video celebration. I saw that this morning when I was watching your, um, oh, the, I put it on your channel to share the apnea video. And, and, um, I saw that you were at 999. So, that's good. That's great. So, I get discouraged by the numbers. Yeah, you know, look. He, and I get that. I, I, I completely understand that because if you go back to this channel, or no, no, well, this channel and the other channel, if you look at my GoPro vlogs and my time-lapse driving to music videos, I can't even break 200 with those things. Um... And those were a labor of love. Like, I didn't do those for the numbers. And, of course, you know, it's copyrighted. I didn't get strikes for them, but I did get claims, you know. So YouTube tends to bury those a little bit because they don't want you. Well, I mean, they used to not want you to make your content off of other people's material. But now it seems to be all people do with the YouTube shorts or whatever, doing the TikTok thing. And... And so I don't pay attention to the numbers a lot, but when, but when things stagnate, you know, it, it's kind of like you, you, you have to do it because you love it. Right. Um, but like where it's discouraging is when you got something really important to say, or you feel passionate about something and you just want to share it with the whole world. You know, this is what preachers probably feel like. And you don't, Nobody cares. Nobody listens. You know, if you're not yelling at the top of your lungs, um, making a big deal, you know, it's hard to get clicks. And, and you know, and so let, let me rag on Fox News for a minute. I know all the right wingers love Fox News, but you, you, you got to understand that they are part of the problem. The Fox News people. And here's why. So. This morning, I got a notification from Fox News that they were talking about how Iran, uh, the military's on high alert because they think Iran's going to attack any minute, right? And this was like an hour old notification. And so I got to watch it, thinking that I'm going to get a news report. And, oh, the military's on high alert because of this. Man, if Trump was in office, we'd be getting this. And if Biden was in office, you know, we this wouldn't be happening. Like, like, I, I specifically wanted to hear what exactly the military was on high alert for. Not, 
look, I understand that Biden sucks. I understand that you want Trump in the office, but you know, they're, they're like, if, if Trump was in office, it's always CNN doing the bitching. If Biden's in office, it's, it's the, it's Fox doing the bitching and that, that's how it's always been. So all it's doing is you're not getting true news. You're just getting a commentary, which back in the old days, if you go back to Walter Concrete, Concrete, Walter Concrete, Con, you, you know what I'm talking about. You know, Dan Rather, you know, that, that was, I don't know, maybe it wasn't, and we just didn't see it back then. But here it's like they're not even trying to hide that the press sucks now, right? So, anyways, they did it for the views. Like, they, they, they have the clickbait. You think you're getting a news report because it's from a news news source, right? And it's 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 a whole ball of nothing that's meant to upset you and anger you, regardless of which side. If you're a leftist watching this, you're like, oh, I'm Trump's here. And if you're right, you're like, yeah, damn right, they're right. And they're like, and, and 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 the eclipse is the perfect example of how social media is just frying all of our brains. And that's the only way you get clicks. That's the only way you get views. That's the only way you can sell stuff now. You want to sell a knife, you got to show it off on YouTube, which I, I do. You show it off on YouTube and look how cool it is. And then you got to make a big deal about how the other knife maker sucks. And, you know, it's like when I promote the 123 low board on the other channel. Do I sit there and say the dat sucks? No. Do I point out some of their flaws? Yeah. But I also pointed out the flaws of 123 low board. I'm pretty honest about it. But guess what? Honesty doesn't sell. Honesty doesn't sell. You got to put up a front. You got to be flailing your arms. You got to be angry about something. You got to be discontent. So people in hell don't want to be alone, don't want to be alone. And so they, they want to bring you down with their misery. And that's what creates clicks. So you get the echo chambers going, yeah, man, I agree. This sucks. Let's do something about it. I'll click on this video. I'll share this video because I feel powerful hitting the share button. <laughs> so, um, I'm, that's why I'm not a good YouTuber because I'm not willing to sell my soul like that. I would like to get this up to a thousand, but this channel, but unless I'm, you know, shaking my ass, I, I don't think that's going to happen. So, Uh, it's unfair that people that put way more work into something different get shunned, right? I'm making better efforts to improve quality, vanity, metrics, be damned. Trouble in the Middle East, yawn, right? Um, morning, Steve. I missed the first few minutes of this live. I was going to text you the short series, looking back, owner-operator life. Check your side mirrors. Make sure shorts, good or bad things. Uh, make a series of shorts of good and bad mistakes that you've made as owner operator. That's a good idea. CDN, I made, I went to Opus Clips and I made a bunch of shorts off of a couple of videos. And one of them was the one that you were in. And there's a couple of clips that are just you. So I'm going to send those to you if you want to use them, fine. If if not, you know, do what you want. So, um Agitation, media, recreational outrage, evangelical propaganda. Woohoo. <laughs> I'm going to title a video of that. Screenshot that. Title a video of that. You know, the eclipse is another thing, right? So you had all these, you know, all these people that are, you know, their, their agenda is the, the um, global climate, right? Climate change or whatever. They said, oh, this is what's caused climate change. I'm like, really? These people that believe the science are sitting there saying that the eclipse is climate change. Okay, whatever. Um, then you got the religious people talking about it's the end of days. And, and, and then you've got the people making fun of the people that are um, talking about the end of days. And, and, you know, and, and guess what? Christians know when the end of days are. And, and guess what? It can't be put on a YouTube channel. It can't be predicted. Um, 
and you're prepared no matter what. So you're not like, oh, I better get my act together before the eclipse because, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's not how it works, right? And most people that make fun of Christianity is because they don't understand Christianity. And the bad Christians out there have made Christians look bad. So all of that is minutia to me. All of that, I know what I believe personally. And I know what I need to work on. And I need... And I, need, I know the word that I need to spread. You can make fun, you, you know, you know, I don't sit there and make fun of somebody that's, you know, celebrating Kwanzaa or anything like that, right? You know, it's just, it's just, it just shows you how messed up the world is, right? And, and we would rather see, you know, it, it, like there's a bunch of conspiracy theories out there, you know, the, the bridge, oh my gosh, that created so much. And, and I've always said, I've said, go back to my videos three or four years ago when I was still in the truck. I've always said that the worst thing about, like we're, we're so loud about saying the sky is falling on the littlest thing. When the sky truly does fall, you're not going to know if it's true or not. Imagine if 9-11 happened now. I mean, people think that 9-11 was a hologram. Like, there's video footage of the planes actually crashing into the buildings. That is real. Be it, no, no, it was a hologram. The news put it all together. It was like, somewhere between the the biggest conspiracy theory in the actual event is the truth somewhere in there right ask the person that lost their father or their mother in that in that building collapse if they care who who or what caused it you know they're dealing with the loss right but we're so but here's the thing something horrible can happen you know in the book uh, Fahrenheit 451 talked about this there'll be wars and rumors of wars right that's that's prophesized in the Bible and and you could have a nuclear bomb go off let's say in Seattle you may not know about it unless you're actually you know near the area and you know because is the media going to hide it the media is going to spend their agenda all the tiktokers all the youtube shorties and all the all the instagram reelers and all that you know they're going to oh i got to sell this the stupid product on Amazon. So I'm going to say something about how horrible that nuclear bomb went off and how you're going to need water. So I'm going to, oh man, that, that nuclear bomb that went off in Seattle was really horrible, man. I bet you there's a lot of thirsty people. So make sure you click on my Amazon link to buy my, buy that water bottle. I've got an Amazon link for, and you get all the clicks and the views and you got 15,000 people watching the video and giving you the thumbs up and the thumbs down. And YouTube won't even let you see how many thumbs down there are. Because God forbid you get offended. I could still see it as a as an administrator. And but like what if what if somebody puts up a video of how to change a tire and they do it completely wrong? And you don't know it because you can't see the thumbs down because you know it's like one thumbs up and 83 thumbs down. Now you can't see that. So now you have to like figure out if this is a horrible way or not. So it's, it's stupid, right? You're right, Steve. Honesty does. You're right, Steve. Honesty does make clicks. Most of us watch channels to live life vigorously through someone else doing something we think we only think or wish we could do in life. Uh, Sterling says punk rock died and was replaced by trolling. Everything has been reduced to a meme. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's like, I've got a meme for that. And so, and you got everybody telling you how to do things. Like, I'm going to tell you how to lift weights. I'm going to tell you how to, you know, no one does the, I'm going to tell you how I do it. They just go, I'm going to tell you how you are doing it wrong. That gets more clicks. If I sit here and do a video and say, how to do the lake press properly, right? I have like eight and a half people watch, right? But if I go, you're doing the leg press wrong, here's why. If you tie it like that, then I might get 20 and a half people, you know, to watch that. 
that's just how it is. If you go back again, if you go back to my recorded videos of, of when I was still in the truck, the ones that I titled with negative clickbait got the most views because people want to see you fail. People have put influencers, stupid ass name, but people have put influencers on a pedestal. And so when they fail, they love it. They want to see the mighty fall. They don't want you to succeed. They're not happy for you. And that's just how it is. Some days it gets to me. Some days it don't. So. Uh, this apocalypse is brought to you by Patriot Supply. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Exactly. Like. Like. <laughs> that's perfect it is it's like and you, and you okay so Patriot Supply let, let's pick on that for a minute when you look at their products they have oh this will this is a 30 day supply of food or whatever for $500 you get this one 5 gallon bucket or whatever of crap and, and you know what it is it's like pancakes it's it's like normal sad diet stuff standard american diet stuff that you probably don't need to be eating if there's an apocalypse in other words if you're if it's nuclear war and you've survived and you're not dying of radiation poisoning and you're not being eaten by rats and the marauders can't find you yet you're gonna sit there and go oh i've got this thing that i paid big money for from patriot supply i can have pancakes <laughs> It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, you should be preserving meat. You should be preserving protein. You should be, you know, we're all going to go on the keto diet if, if, if there's an apocalypse. You're going to be intermittent fasting like a mofo. So, oh, we got other people from other countries coming in. Good deal. I'm up to 17 now. Yay. The whole world. Out of the whole world and 7 billion people, 19 of you have decided to be here. Thank you very much. Um, so, I mean, these are the thoughts that are in my head. So, meanwhile, I can't get my, my act straight. Uh, I, I'm horrible at time management. I'm horrible at, like, there's, there's something I've been meaning to finish for a while, and I have not been able to finish it. Um, i got to figure it out. Um, I got to get out of my own head. Impending Doom has a song, and the, and the vocal that starts off, "Get out, get out of your own head," and it, it's it's it rings true. It's about social media. It's about it's about greed. It's about pride. You know, it's it's a good song. So this inflation is brought to you by Gold Co. Right? Um. Yeah, I mean that's what it what it is. You know, it, it it's like. Are you worried about people breaking your house? You know, get a camera system. Are you worried about being mugged on the street? Get self-defense tools, whether it be a, a firearm or jujitsu or, you know, it, it's kind of like I wanted to take self-defense classes, but I want specifically self-defense, not martial arts. Now, there is some value to taking a martial arts class, but from my experience, from what I've witnessed, it's you're basically paying to take a course to go up the belts and to pay for uniforms. And I, I and and like okay, that that's great and all, but that's not that's not my end game. I, I want to learn how to, you know, get away from a situation if I need to defend myself, not. Okay, I can call myself a black belt, and I've spent hundreds of dollars on these different levels of belts, and I couldn't defend my life for more than five minutes. That, that doesn't that doesn't sit well with me. Uh, Marty, what's up? Uh, Sterling, I just take note where all the preppers live in my town. Just follow the pickup trucks with gun stickers, <laughs> right? Yep. Yeah, that, that's uh, having a gun sticker is a good way to get your uh, window broken. You know, so. 
Have you heard of 75 hard? You mentioned time management. That program would help. I think I have heard of that black dirt. Um, I need to uh, look that up. Someone mentioned that in the Facebook page. I think it was on um, Order of Man's Facebook page. Ryan Mickler. Uh, somebody mentioned that 75 that 75 hard. Um, thank you, Black Dirt. I appreciate that. Look, every day I'm trying to improve myself. And every day I fail. I succeed in some areas. In other areas, I fail. Like... I haven't gone shooting in the last, I don't know, almost a year now, which is horrible. And I even have a new new firearm to test out. Um, I started the gym in February, which has been nice. But I haven't gone as much as I would have liked to. I was off to a really good start. And then I've, I've and then I got... Then life just got in the way, of course, as I knew it would. And then now I'm finding the balance. If I can just get up a couple hours early, I can do it where it won't affect my job or my uh, my, my other YouTube live feeds. Um, and I have a big procrastination problem. I think it runs... It's It's been deep. It's been that way for a long time. And I'm trying to cure that. I'm trying to solve that. And the workouts have actually been helping for that, but not as much as I would like. Uh, 75 hard. My daughter says it's really good. She loves it. I'm going to have to look that up. Thank you, Red Lady. Uh, for 75 days, participants must comp complete five critical daily tasks that double down on exercising twice a day, sticking to a rigid nutrition plan and strengthening your mental fortitude. Okay. Uh, Mrs. A, your wife mentioned 75 hard, not that she's doing it, just heard about it. Yeah, I think, you, yeah, so I, I have heard of it. You mentioned it. I saw it on Facebook. I saw it on Facebook. I'm getting tired of using that term, but, but, um, my wife does love me because she loves the, the fact that even though I've failed at many things, I think she still loves me, so. Failure is a prerequisite. Get to the range. I know. I know. I know. I saw. I did see a really good video this morning about low left shooting, and the guy brought up a couple of points that I not really heard from all the other gurus I've I've watched. So that was pretty cool. I'm curious to. I'm anxious. I'm 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 ready to try it, but. Oh, my priorities are jacked up. Red lady is getting married. Her new husband has a gun range in his spare bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. We'll figure it out. Time is the biggest factor. Money is money, but time is the biggest factor, so. But... You know, and, and the other thing I'm going to add, going back to what we were talking about before, is you can't do anything without get, someone getting ticked off, right? Oh, you go to the gym? Oh, if you go to Planet Fitness, you know, they're doing this, that, and the other. Oh, you go to Chick-fil-A? Well, they did this, that, and the other. Or, well, you know, it's like, number one, businesses need to stop putting their business out there, you know? I don't want to know Walmart's politics. <laughs> you know, I don't want to know... The guy down the street, the the local restaurant, I don't need to see his Twitter feed of how much he hates Trump or how much he hates Biden. It, it, it's, it's you know, how about run your business and use it to, to promote that? But see, that's how you get in the, that, that's how you get the clicks. Movie stars do it all the time. If you see a movie star say something absolutely asinine on the internet, like on Twitter and on TikTok, I bet you nine times out of 10, they got a new movie coming out. And that one time out of 10, it's because they're trying to revive their career. Like remember when Kathy Griffin put out the, you know, holding Trump's head BS. Well, it pretty much destroyed her career. You know, that was on, you know, life support anyways. And have you seen pictures of her lately? Ooh. And it, 
all these people that are ate up with pride and, and looks have all injected themselves with that Botox, which is botulism, by the way. And it's it's going horribly wrong. <laughs> it's going horribly wrong. Oh, let's see. Uh, 75 is intense and can add a stress to our life. If life is busy and you miss a workout, start with 22 push-up challenge. 22 push-ups every day for 22 days. It represents number of soldiers in the USA. So then it says cold plunge. I've done the cold shower for like a minute, but I have not. I don't even have a bucket big enough to fit my fat ass. Um, it represents number of USA Canadian soldiers who take their life every day. Mental health awareness. You drive... <laughs> That's the... You drive a pickup truck to a gym, a combustion engine, yep. And I I use a regular coffee maker, which I've heard is bad, and I use a gas stove to cook meat. I, you know, that that's the cool thing about that, is I'm a rebel now, because I drive a gasoline engine, I eat meat, and I cook with gas, and I use an old school coffee maker. That makes... If that makes me a rebel, then I'm a rebellious mofo right there. Steve, you follow me on Facebook. Search my history and you will see my videos of my 22-day challenge I documented. Okay, I will. I will, CDN. So, um, But I've heard that doing the... I know Pale Rider's going to get mad because he doesn't like it when people do live feeds in the short, you know, the up and down version. And... Uh, it's supposed to increase the numbers, but all I get is a couple of people from Russia going, who the hell is this weird dude? So, but anyways, um, I'm a horrible YouTuber because I, I really don't, I've tried a few different things with this channel and it just doesn't seem to be taken off. So, Blackter, I appreciate your honesty. First time watching you. Well, thank you, Blackter. I hope you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I, I, I can't. This is why I'm not cut out for YouTube, maybe, is because I can't, I'm not a salesperson. Like, you know, CDN was mentoring me about trying to broker freight and all this stuff. And, and I don't know if I'm a good salesman because I'm too honest. I feel that a lot of salespeople aren't honest people. Like, they go to a car lot and, you know, because their object is to sell, sell you the vehicle, not what are your needs, right? The good ones will recognize your needs and use that to manipulate the sale. But for the most part, there's not a salesman that's going to go, uh, you know, they're going to look at your credit. You know, the salesman's going to look at your credit. They're, they're, they're not going to care if you can afford it or not. Like, oh, we got this. Well, you know, I can only afford, you know, thousand dollars a month. Um, well, I've got this one. It's it, it'll be around eleven forty-eight. It, it's it's gonna it, it's it's I know it's a little bit above, but you've got eight hundred credit score. You can do this, and we'll even add another year. And and so next thing you know, you got a a ten-year loan on a pickup truck that's not going to be any good after two hundred thousand miles. That salesman does not care about that is the minute that truck is off that lot, man, he don't care. He doesn't care. You're sent to customer service. You're sent to warranty department. And, and I, and I don't know. I'm just like, I can filter myself. I don't say everything that's on my mind, but at the same time, I'm not going to put up a fake front. Well, I did once. Yesterday when I was drinking coffee, I wasn't, I actually did not have the Snorler coffee in the cup because I had it the day before. I didn't want to use it all up. So I was like, mmm, great coffee. But I didn't really lie. I just said, mmm, great coffee. Speaking of coffee, here's my coffee. So you could assume that I was drinking my own coffee. So. Uh, you listen to devil music. <laughs> I've been getting that one a long time, man. A long time. Uh, you, we could use guitar jams. Wife Lord approves. Trust me. 
Steve, have you listened to the song Simple Man by Shinedown? It would be cool to hear your cover version. I'm not good with cover CDN. I'm really not. Apnea did... I think we only did one cover. And it was a song nobody's ever heard of, you know, if you're not... Unless you're a metalhead, you've heard of the song. And then my old band, Cyanide Rainbow, we did... We did a... We did an obituary song. We were working on a Nirvana song, but off of Bleach, not not Nevermind. I don't think we ever did it though. Um, my first band did a Flotsam and Jetsam cover, and then a band Tragedy. We did a Motley Crue cover. But, like, I can play bits and pieces of Metallica songs or Slayer songs or whatever, but I'm not, like, sitting down learning an entire song, unless it just, like, I pick it up naturally. I, I, I don't have the patience. I got a bunch of tab books. I got, like, a bunch of Iron Maiden tab books, a bunch of Metallica tab books that I've I've never even opened. So... Uh, do you think all those NASCAR drivers actually have monster in every can? Most are emptied and filled with water. Right. Well, you know, it's funny. I, I agree with that. It's it's a sales pitch, right? And and so like these 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 athletes, these lean, mean, very strict diet athletes sit there and go, Look at my Subway sandwich. Subway is good for you, you know. <laughs> and like, no, dude, I guarantee that you're not eating Subway when you're not playing a game. I guarantee that. I guarantee that you're just look. If if someone gives me a million dollars, you know, I'm, I'll I'll sell my. You know, well, I almost said it. Some might be tempted to sell their soul for a million dollars to sell a product that they don't even use. And until I'm tested like that, I don't think I could do that. You know, but someone if someone wants to give me a million dollars to sell a product, I'll see if I'm tempted or not. <laughs> Shanty Moses, hello. Jordan Harbringer was on a podcast with Mike Rowe. Fun interview. Cool. Most people are afraid of subjecting themselves to a risk assessment. Look, honesty is hard to come by. You know. And a lot of it is not being honest with yourself. You know. Um. You know, I come across a lot of owner operators that that just aren't being honest with themselves. And and if they did, they would they would sell the truck and 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 better their lives. You know, they and and they you know and I don't know. We're blinded by our human nature. You know, it's, it, our pride and our ego gets in the way, and we don't want help or or you know, my way or the highway. And well, if, if the world is changing your way may not be the, the way anymore and it sucks. Um, you know, once you get over that, once you realize what your weaknesses are, the other day I called a friend of mine and I asked him, I said, Hey, I want your honest opinion on what I could be doing better. And he's like, for real? I'm like, yeah. Well, I mean, we're friends, right? I'm like, yeah. And he proceeded to tell me what I was doing wrong. And I said, you know what? I I 100% agree. I've been seeing that as well in myself. He's like, why did you ask me that? Because I want to see if anybody sees something that I don't see. I have no I have no problem being honest with myself, but sometimes we're blinded, right? We're we're, we're blinded by. Our ego, our pride, our anger. Anger can be very blinding. You know, Sterling Wheel, who's in the chat, go check out his channel. He did a video using an apnea song. And the apnea song is called Tomorrow's Morning. Now, if those of you new to the channel, 
don't know anything about my background. I was in a death metal band for 17 years called Apnea. We have a lot of recordings out. Um, we're on Spotify. We're on iTunes. We're on all the platforms. And the band broke up about 2016. And... Um, and as I, as my YouTube channel gets better, people are discovering my music that didn't know about it 15 years ago or whatever. So anyways, we have a bunch of CDs out. We did all right for ourselves. You know, we didn't, we didn't get rich or famous, but we did open up for some big bands, whatever. You don't need to know all the history, but I was in a death metal band called Apnea. And we did a little bit of, I did a little bit of clean singing too. So we were trying to be original and all that stuff. And... Anyways, the song Tomorrow's Morning that Sterling did the video, that was about my depression. That album, Tainted Purity, that that's on was a very rough time in my life. And there's still a lot of residual anger from that period of my life. And Tomorrow's Morning was, the lyrics were about my depression. And Sterling pinned the lyrics on that video. So go check it out. Go look at the comments. Read the lyrics as you're listening to the song. I mean, watch Sterling's video for all, you know. You know, but then listen to it again and, and read the lyrics. And it, 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 was, it was about depression. It was about failure. And it was about anger. Now... I'm in a place in my life where I couldn't write that song today. In fact, some of the songs from that era I have trouble listening to because my mindset is just completely different. And, uh, you know, and, 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 you know, Christians talk about this all the time. You have to kill your old self to become a new person. You have to kill the old to become new. And, and, you know, shedding skin, you know, a, a bunch of people have written about that. Shedding skin, um, you know, you know, look what happens with weight loss. You know, you're shedding fat, you're shedding, you know, you're creating a new person out of what the old person was. So, this soul for lease, right? Oops. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh. That was weird. Excellent. I thought I ended the feed. I forgot I'm live on this one. Um, great insight, Steve, on reality of YouTube. I have to go. Okay, CDN, thank you for your suggestions. I will try to email you those two clips, two or three clips. You can use them for your YouTube shorts if you want. But anyways, there, you know, a lot of my lyrics, especially off the Tempest of Eternity era, um, which Tempest of Eternity is about the storm of life. Um, that was when I started getting into the positivity kind of stuff and my lyrics reflect that like you can see my transformation from the early days to what apnea ended on and that's part of my my trouble being inspired musically today is that it's not coming from a place of anger anymore so i don't know what that looks like yet so but anyways i've been doing this for what 45 minutes so I'm going to get off of here. I got I got to hit the grocery store and then I got to go back to work and check on a few things for Like Trucking Corp. Um, Contentcreator.com. Speaking of selling things, I'm not a salesperson, but I do believe in the coffee that I've got. Uh, Contentcreator.com. Type in Snorlord and you will find my coffee blend. And um, that's it. So that's all I got to sell. So, and I've got an Amazon link running around this channel somewhere. So anyways, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.